Harry makes a deal with this overprotective mother. The deal is that she will allow him to move to Greenwich Village for six months. If within that time he does not get an acting job, then he'll move back home and uh, join the family's dry cleaning business. In the first song that you're going to hear this evening, Larry is standing alone uh, on an outdoor train platform waiting for a train. To be or not to be, that is the question. But it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. Where would you like? 
like to do now? If you decide. For a walk in the park, have a talk. In the dark? Sure. Stroll around, find a bench, take a breather. Wanna go? No. Me either. Then why did you ask? Well, I just thought we should take a walk to be courteous. Courteous? To who? To the night. All the elements in place. You don't think that's an accident? The maple trees have worked so hard to make the proper move. It would be bad manners not to show a little gratitude. The pigeons are playing Cupid. We both know that they're wrong. But the least that we can do is play along. The daffodils are open late and lined up in a row. They'll be disappointed if we don't hold hands just for show. It would just be proper etiquette to hold each other tight. The least that we can do is be polite. The moon is pouring moonlight so we can drink a toast.
sexually repressed. You're a Chini, Stango, Houdini, Kandinsky, Minsky, and the greatest of them all, Who? Larry Lapinski. Who? I'm the best. I'm a brute. You're a pest, but you're cute. I'm the best. I'm the king. You're obsessed with that thing. Yeah, I'm the best. You can't beat it, get them dressed. quite a bit later in the show. The six month time limit is coming to an end and despite his best efforts, Larry has not gotten an acting job. He has lost the bet with his mother and he will soon have to return to Brooklyn and join his parents' business. <laughs> Why cleaning six days a week? Dry cleaning sounds pretty bleak. The register bell, my mother's voice, the chemical smell, all day no choice. Dry cleaning, dad says it's interesting. Dry cleaning, but that's a lie. One thing you can do.
as things have gotten for Larry, they are about to get worse. Uh, Larry and Sarah hang out with an artistic group of friends, including Connie, a journalist. Connie will also be played this evening by Laura Voice. Now, Connie has been romantically involved with Robert, a poet. Unbeknownst to both Larry and Connie, uh, Sarah and Robert have also been sleeping with each other. Upon learning this, Larry and Connie meet in Washington Square Park to commiserate. That's it! I am through with men, I'm going on a boy cot! Fine! I'm going on a girl cot! <laughs> I am never going through this again! You shouldn't have to! Neither should you! Never! No. I've absolutely and positively had it up to here with men! I've absolutely and positively never look at girls again! To build a tall partition round my heart today. No doubt about it, I can live without it. Revoke my permit, I'm gonna be a hermit. It's true, we're absolutely positively through. And point of fact, why don't we make a pact to keep each other free? If I get surges, a biologic urge just turn a hose on me. If I get antsy, for some genetic with Nancy. I'll throw you in the clink. Throw me in the clink. If I get partial to some Jerome or Marshall. I'll chain you to a sink. Chain me to a sink. We'll keep our credos and govern our libidos. In summer weather, just glue my knees together. That's it. That's it. We have to deal with positive. Absolutely, positively, absolutely, positively, 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 